Hello guys, how are you doing? It's Bayan here, uh, back with another tutorial video. Um, but before we start, I'd really like to share some great news that uh, two of my latest work, uh, Dust Boot and Ace Pilot, has won the Best of Ship and Best of Show, respectively, in Motion Show 2019, uh, which is one of the best and greatest um, skill modeling shows in Europe. Uh, I will put the links of those two works in the description if you're interested. Since I was being asked uh, to make a Tiger One tank for a client in Australia, I think it's a good time um, to make a tutorial about such a popular project and hopefully it might be helpful for your next projects. Enjoy! So this is the meat production tiger we're gonna use in this tutorial. Uh, there is really not much to say about the uh, construction assembling as it is very straightforward, uh, except for one thing, the Zimmerat. The kit do comes with solutions for this, but they are either too uniform or too mushy to be useful. But with some basic tools, we can vastly improve it. The Zimmerets are much more pleasing now and we can start prepare painting the model. I applied uh, two coats of primers. Uh, the first one is the grey primer from Mr. Primer and the second one is uh, the uh, red oxide uh, from uh, Citadel. In this way, I can have a really durable uh, base color, which is very important for further uh, hairspray chipping. The primer dries really fast. Now I'm applying the first coat of hairspray. Uh, technically speaking, uh, you can use any hairspray, uh, but from my experience, uh, a medium strength matte orderless hairspray works the best. And before we start painting the actual camouflage, this layer of white paint is really, really important. It will not only make uh, the color reproduction of the camouflage much easier, and also you're gonna have uh, much better uh, chipping results in the long run. After finish painting the sand color, uh, we may start the first layer of chipping. Uh, for this job, I use uh, various different brushes and uh, hard tools to reproduce uh, different kinds of chipping. Uh, with patience, you can get some really fine and realistic chipping results uh, once you get the hang of it. And of course, uh, for my Patreon supporters, uh, I've also made a much, much longer uh, version of this tutorial uh, explaining uh, variables in detail and some other tricks. So check it out if you are interested. Uh, so after finishing the first layer of hairspray chipping, I do recommend uh, to protect everything with a set and varnish um, before you move on to the next steps. Uh, we may start playing with extra camouflage.
as you may notice that uh, my choice of colors are pretty pale. Uh, that is because uh, with these pale colors, I can easily render it uh, with oil colors later on uh, in the weathering steps. As soon as we uh, finish painting the camouflage, uh, we have to work on the second layer of, of chipping uh, to reveal some of the uh, previous chippings we have done. So in the next episode, I'm going to show you how you do the rendering, the textures, and all the other final touches which makes the tank alive. Stay tuned for that. So consider subscribing to my channel so you won't miss the next episode. It's Biden here. I'll see you in the next one.